Welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we are talking about how the New England Patriots win the 2024 NFL Draft. This draft starts and ends with the Patriots and their decision at number three overall. Let's waste no time and dive straight into this. The quarterbacks all fall based off what they do, and it's going to be exciting come draft there on the 25th. So let's dive straight into this thing and sort this out. Look at all the Patriots picks, man. Very nice. Very nice. Got some good capital this year. Let's get this thing going. Let's see how the board falls to us at three overall. Caleb goes off the board, and May goes off the board. This is accurate and what I think will happen now. The Patriots, man, they could get their franchise quarterback for years to come, but this roster is pretty shaky. They're missing a tackle. They're missing weapons at wide out. This isn't the best situation to step into, and as a new head coach in Mayo, I don't know if I'm going to take on that kind of risk as my first year in the league. You know what I mean? And it's not even risk. I think Daniels is a fantastic prospect. With this team surrounding Daniels, it is a rough situation for him to step into. I would take the surefire hit. It's a need too in Marvin Harrison Jr. Don't even think about it. The Patriots historically cannot draft wideouts to save their life, but today they're going to draft a great one. Marvin Harrison Jr., you are a New England Patriot, and welcome to our squad. I'll see you guys at 34 overall. The Patriots are back on the clock, and to remind you guys, today is who I would pick personally, not what I think is going to happen, what I believe would be best for the franchise, and I think it's time to do things right. This is my best plan of attack for the Patriots, and it all starts getting crazy at pick 34. So, let's review. Wide out, we got it. Quarterback, we still need some help there, obviously. At tackle, can we address tackle well here? Let's take a look. Offensive tackles. Kingsley, Kingsley is a developmental guy. We don't want him just starting day one. It's a little bit rough for him. He's got plenty of potential, but we don't want to just throw him into the fire like PFF just said right there. At the edge position, our nearest best player is Chris Braswell. Okay? Solid. I love Chris a lot. He's a very good player. He's going to be a very good role player in the NFL. But I would rather take the swing right here. We didn't burn our pick on quarterback at three overall. We got a fantastic wideout in Marvin Harrison Jr. Bo Nix is a New England Patriot. Stop playing. He makes great decisions. He's got good accuracy. Not the biggest arm, but he can get it done. He's a little bit mobile, just a little bit. This guy is experienced, and we're going to build around this guy for years to come. Bo Nix, you are a New England Patriot. I will see you guys at pick 68 overall. We're on the board at 68. And I'm not going to waste any time. Braylon Trice slid all the way to us in the third round, fourth overall in the third round. I love Braylon, man. I don't know how he fell as far in drafts this year. He's the top 50 player. I totally agree with you, man. He's NFL starting caliber. Get Trice on my roster. We're addressing position of need, and he's just a great play overall. Welcome to the squad, Trice. You're staying here for good. Back on the board, and we got five picks remaining in this draft. Let's fill positions in need. Our last position in need is tackle, and there's not any screaming value here. Like, no one has slid super far on the board, so I'm going to take what we can get. And at tackle, I like Matt a lot out of Pittsburgh. I know he tore his ACL. He had a season-ending injury last year. It's going to take him a minute to get back into the full swing of things, but once he does, he's got a good chance to start day one and do his thing. Let's draft Matt to protect Bo Nix, our brand-new quarterback. 137 overall, and guys, look at this. Christian Jones has slid all the way to us. Now, Matt, who we just drafted a tackle, did tear his ACL, and it could take us some time to recover. With that being said, Christian Jones is the solution for now, and he could be a good player in the long run, too. He could be a starter at the end of the day. Let's take Christian Jones right here, a screaming value on the board, and we for sure need it. We got three picks left in this draft, and we've addressed our needs fully. We've done a very good job. Now, who do we take value-wise? Just looking for the best player overall. It doesn't matter position. And with that, I'm also going to address another position of need like we just did. I like Jalen a lot out of Michigan. He's a faster guy. We also have his counterpart right here, McGregor. He's a bigger dude. He's about two, yeah, 267, 6'6". Six, six. But I want the speed. I want Jalen off the edge. We already got a bigger dude in Trice who could hold down for the run blocking. Let's take Jalen to be our third down pass rusher because we for sure need him on this Patriots team. Welcome to the Patriots, Jalen. Two picks left for the Patriots. We are back on the clock at 193 overall. We're taking value. We got all the guides we need this draft. Who is the best on this board? From here, I'm going to take the player that I think would fit best into this scheme. A 6'3 corner in Ryan Watts out of Texas. Let's take Ryan Watts here. I feel like the Patriots could scheme something up and make Ryan Watts a weapon on the defensive side of the ball. Let's take him here at our next pick. The last pick for the Patriots. Let's look across the board. Who are we going to take here? We're taking the best value left. And there's one name that's catching my eye. And his name 
is Rashin Ali. Some are calling, I believe Jim Nagy called him a day three steal. He went to the Senior Bowl and absolutely killed it. He's a running back out of Marshall. He was on Bruce Feldman's freak list in like 2021. This dude can do it all, and I think he's a true gem in this year's draft. Let's take Rashin Ali with the last pick for the Patriots. Patriot fans, this is my draft. Let's review. First, we took Marvin Harrison Jr., and we want to make sure our quarterback steps into a very good scenario where he feels comfortable and he's got weapons on the outside. In the second round, we got our quarterback in Bo Nix out of Oregon. Third round, we got Trice, a very good value right there, and addresses a position of need. Back-to-back -back tackle prospects. Next, we got Jalen off the edge, Ryan Watts, the 6'3 corner out of Texas, and Rasheen Ali, a steal at 231 overall. We could plug in that running back room and just let him go. This is it, Patriot fans. What did you think? Did you like it? Did you hate it? Drop it on the comments. What would you change? Would you take Bo Nix? Would you take Daniels third overall instead? What would you change? Drop it in the comments. Guys, if you watched this far in the video and you enjoyed it, please drop a like because it helps me out tremendously. And if you enjoy this kind of content, I'm making a mock draft for every single team. So go subscribe down below. And if you subscribed and if you liked the video and you were just a super fan, we have a brand new Patreon. Not here, but here. We got two Patreons in our all pro tier. Thank you, Cisco. Thank you, David. They get an additional weekly video per week and access to our Q&A sessions. And then at our MVP tier, your mom is holding it down. She gets full access to our rookie draft guide. You get five draft day tips and a bonus tip, tier-based rankings for quarterback, running back, wide receiver, and tight end. And of course, a one-pager cheat sheet. So on draft day, you are marking these guys off as the draft goes by, and you're going to dominate your rookie draft for Dynasty Fantasy Football. If y'all watched this far in the video, I appreciate you more than you know. I love you guys. Have the best day ever. Peace. Now listen up, y'all. It is time for the 2024 NFL Draft Wide Receiver Tier List. And this is the first time I have ever had, I mean ever, had two players in my God Tier. Let's get it started. Introducing my two players in my God Tier. Y'all know their names. Say it with me. Marvin Harrison Jr. out of OSU. And Malik Neighbors out of Bellas.